hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how we can modify the blend shapes uh, for uh, metahuman expressions and export them uh, export the changes to dna asset right so uh, first we're gonna open uh, mesh morpher and load our metahuman what i want to do uh, is uh, when i only export for when I only do changes for DNA asset. I just duplicate this uh, metahuman file, so I don't affect the original. Uh, I usually keep for uh, in engine the original and uh, for DNA asset uh, the duplicate. So uh, I'm gonna do this uh, for uh, this video as well, right? So let's uh, load the duplicate. And first thing first, we need to go to poser and uh, bake the skeleton this is the first thing we have to do if uh, we don't do this uh, then uh, the dna asset data that we have in the engine is gonna is not gonna be correct right so we need to bake this it's super fast the baking has been improved it only takes few seconds for it to complete okay and now uh, what uh, we're gonna do let's uh, disable the bone drawing and uh, what we want to do is customize the blend shape right so we're gonna go with corner mouth corner pool for the uh, left side uh, which is this one and uh, we're gonna modify it right so uh, let's copy this name and i'm gonna show you how uh, we can quickly modify this uh open um Skeletal Mesh Previewer and your MetaHuman in Skeletal Mesh Previewer. Create an asset, create animation from current pose. I'm gonna name this uh, animation pose. Press OK. And when the animation opens, you uh, go to curves and add a curve, right? And you, you add uh, the control expression for mouth corner pull left or whatever you're modifying right but it has to be the control expression uh, curve so now uh, we can go to edit and we need to add a key and we're gonna add the key at zero frame with a value of one right so uh, now uh, this uh, Animation uh, sequence will enable us this pose and we can use this in uh, Mesh Morpher uh, you, We can use it so we know exactly what uh, we customize here and if uh, we add a curve uh, Let's go with mouth corner pull L modified If we add this curve, we basically create a corrective morph target uh, it will contain uh, the deltas between this pose, which is our expression pose, and uh, what we uh, modify here, right? So uh, let's uh, let's modify a little bit this. And uh, what we want to do is make accentuate a little bit this uh, mouth corner pull, so we can uh, see it easily in uh, Maya because we're gonna uh, import this uh, DNA asset to Maya. Right, so let's uh, let's uh, make it uh, a little bit accentuated, probably like this. Doesn't look too good, but we don't need more for what we're doing here. And uh, we're gonna smooth it a little bit. You can also do this in uh, ZBrush. There are videos uh, on uh, uh, the channel on how to do this. But uh, before saving, we need to do another thing. Uh, go to Edit settings and uh, make sure you select update dna asset blend shapes this is experimental and that's why it's not enabled by default so make sure you enable it and uh, then go ahead and save this right so let's see how this looks in poser before before uh, changing our dna asset blend shape let's see first how it looks right so after we saved it come on after we saved it if we enable our mouth corner pool and our uh, um, custom morph target this is how it's gonna look right 
and uh, we want to uh, export this to DNA asset. So uh, let's uh, let's continue our work here. Uh, we only have uh, one more thing to do. We need to blend this, right? We need to blend to add this to to the metahuman, uh, which is uh, with, to the metahuman blend shape, which is uh, dedicated to this corner pool uh, left uh, uh, expression, right? So let's uh, open blend, select our uh, DNA asset uh, blend shape, which is this one. Copy the name of it and add it to the new morph name. Enable this to the maximum. And now enable the custom uh, morph target as well. So when uh, we create, uh, it will overwrite the existing uh, blend shape and it will contain uh, this, uh, both uh, morph targets uh, together, right? They, they will be blended and uh, it, they will overwrite this existing one. This is uh, the logic uh, behind this. And uh, let's uh, click create. It will tell you, it will ask for a confirmation uh, that it already exists. And if you want to overwrite, we press yes. doesn't matter how it looks here it's fine you can close this and now let's check it out in poser again let's disable this okay and uh, let's enable our uh, our uh, uh, expression uh, curve and we will see that the changes are already visible but this is only in the engine right and we want this in Maya so uh, what we want to do this uh, to do now is uh, go to Quixel Bridge and uh, grab the DNA asset for our MetaHuman, the original DNA asset. And uh, to do so, you have to navigate to your MetaHuman, select it, and uh, go to Files. Uh, you're gonna go to uh, Tier Zero Asset UE. Metahumans, select uh, the uh, metahuman uh, name there, folder name, and then go to source assets, right? And you're gonna copy this, you don't want to overwrite this, you want to copy it uh, somewhere else. So we're gonna copy it to our project. It, you can copy it anywhere, but for our uh, video, we're gonna copy it to this folder. And now we can go ahead and export uh, our uh, let me open mesh morpher and now we can go ahead and export uh, our metahuman back to the DNA asset right so we're going to tools and uh, write to DNA uh, write DNA to file and we're gonna select the DNA file uh, we just copied from Quixel bridge right click on open uh, this message tells us that uh, spine 04 bone rotation is not safe to DNA file so Whatever change you made, you make to the metahuman, uh, the spine uh, zero four rotation will not reflect in uh, the DNA file. So, whatever you do, if you want to export to Maya, don't rotate spine zero four. Right? You can rotate uh, everything else, but don't rotate uh, spine zero four. That's something I'm still looking into and see how we can get the rotation for uh, spine 04 in Maya, in the DNA file, spine 04 is uh, is uh, the root bone uh, and in the engine we have root as the root. It's different but uh, hopefully in the future we are going to sort that as well. So uh, now that we exported uh, to DNA file, let me open Explorer and uh, we need to copy this uh, DNA file to our DNA calibration folder or whatever you named it or wherever you're uh, using uh, uh, how you're using Maya and uh, we're gonna copy it and uh, let's go to Maya 
have it open here okay and in Maya uh, you need to load your DNA asset right okay uh, the DNA asset uh, the DNA file was uh, successfully loaded and we can test it this is what we exported from uh, the engine with Mesh Morpher and we can let's zoom a little bit so we can uh, see exactly uh, our modification our changes to the blend shape and uh, we're gonna uh, select first the right side just to see the differences and now we're gonna go to the left side which we modified and we will see that uh, the changes from Mesh Morpher are visible here, right? So this is how you uh, can change expressions with Mesh Morpher and export them to uh, to a DNA file, uh, which you can then uh, work forward uh, with Maya. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, this uh, video was helpful. I hope uh, you like uh, uh, where Mesh Morpher is going with the DNA assets as well. We're trying to to uh, align uh, with the Maya and every other uh, uh, software available to uh, modify MetaHumans, right? So uh, we have now workflows for Blender, ZBrush, and now we have a uh, Maya workflow that uh, can improve uh, your MetaHumans even further, right? So this is it for this video, guys, and uh, see you around. Bye.